alongside the Orca news this week, there has been some news from FR Sky because FR Sky have been working on a digital FPV radio in the background for some time called the X20D or the X20 HD and H X20S HD. These are digital FPV versions of their X20 and there has been a lot of rumours about what they're using and we now finally know and that is HD0. So if we jump over again to their Facebook page, FR Sky have put up this video, which I'll put up here, which they go on to talk about, or not talk, but show the... Ooh, let me just mute it. We don't need the bad music with it. There we go. The new digital oh, version of the radio. You can see there, if I pause it, you can see the FPV feed coming in on the display. You've got the OSD. You can see the signal bars at the top. There's some Chinese language over there. But it turns out that they are using the HD0 chipset. Now, what's interesting in this is no mention at all of HD0 anywhere in the marketing. But they have answered in the comments that it's HD0 and I have spoken to Carl and they are providing them with chipsets. Now, if we look at the specification on the radio, built in 2.4 and 900, which is nice. We like that. That's pretty good. 800 by 480 color touchscreen. So the FPV is going to be coming through on 800 by 480. That's not HD. So whilst the HD, the FPV system's HD, the display isn't. Six quick modes, light module bay, etc., etc. All of the nonsense. Let's get down here. Do do do. CNC, but built in, no milliseconds latency digital HD FPV feed, 720, 60 frames a second. But again, they're not saying HD zero. Now, in this post, they have replied to a question mark on what system is it using. Let me just find it. And they've said here, so if you guys can see it, can work compatible with all VTX product of HD0. So they are saying it works with all of the HD0 VTXs. So as far as I understand, it must be the same. It should work with the VRX. Well, it, in the sense of you'd be able to get your normal HD0 on this. Now, whilst I know this isn't particularly exciting for everyone, it is interesting to see. It is interesting to see that we do have a remote with a display option, but it isn't running Edge TX OpenTX. It's not Express LRS. It's going to be their own radio system as before. But it's still not a bad thing. You can't really see too much. They're not showing, you know, a massive amount on this. It does look like they've overlaid their own OSD as well, but that might be the front end one, not the back end OSD, because we do know um, that they've been working on proper canvas mode, Pixel OSD. So we don't know if that's being done or not, but that means it would have to have their own firmware. But it is still going to be using their customized software. And look, there's not a lot of info. You know, that's what we've got. It's not a lot of that. But I think it is a good thing. As much as I know the FPV community has fallen out of love with FR Sky, as much as I know everyone will want Edge TX, not their custom OS. If we just go to the FR Sky website transmitters i do know I, I was talking to ben at 3dxr and i do know that this tandem rc has gone down very very well with sort of industrial and commercial use the guys building aircraft custom applications i know ben has used a lot of the tyrannis in the past he's used a lot of 
those kind of radios for fixed wing use where he builds a lot of big aircraft for all sorts of use but he was telling me that this radio has really been very well liked in those applications so whilst it may not be ideal for fpv or traditional us there is still a big market out there maybe for fixed wing and the others that might find this interesting i would love to know if they could have it flash to express lrs because we know some of the fr sky modules could flash express lrs if you could flash this radio express lrs there'd be a lot of people very interested if you could get edge tx and express lrs on this it's quite interesting um a lot of commercial users opt for jetty too yeah but ben's been choosing it on the 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 sort of a middle ground choice what's the point of such radio for fpv not really mostly fixed wing and stuff like that they're showing it with a quad it's not really going to be flown with a quad but it is an interesting radio nonetheless and yeah you know it's got their ethos or whatever they call it uh, uh osd it supports all of their usual access modes access d6 accst d16 access 2.4 access 900 which is that you know that's a nice feature Stick to making the hardware, please. Yeah, it would be good. The display, mm, 800 by 480 isn't going to be enough, but it would be reasonably interesting to see how it looks. Uh, ETH Ethos OS, as I said. But, you know, I don't want to poo-poo it too much up front. I think it's good to see. It is more... Um, more HD0 in more places than we've seen before. That's the thing with it. We're going to have to see how it goes. I'd like to try one. I would be really interested in trying one with HD0 just to see what it's like.